Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Master Over Ryan with me, Get Daved. Our spy needs more orders to steal more. Start stealing. I don't know why you do anything else. Altair is growing. Command point limit increased, perfect. Hmm, what to do with it? I think we ship it to Echidna. As you just saw me do. <laughs> Spoiler. You could do something kind of helpful for us. I wonder if there's a way we can make money. We could also turn it into a planet. I guess that's probably a better choice. Just for the sake of doing it once, even though we have no shortage of, you know, potential desirable colonies. Do we have another one being popped out? Good. Good. Okay, that was nothing. I wonder if we can... Perfect. All their fine work has been undone. And we'll get our first shot at the Elkari Horde. Don't want them sneaking past us, though. Those could be devastating consequences. There we go. Can we still move? Well, we learned a valuable lesson today. I'm happy with that. That's money. Money in the bank. It's gold, Jerry. Gold. Got to keep the Cylons happy. One person was saying we need to essentially nip them in the bud. I find people often overvalue how good the Cylons are because they tend to have good tech. They're good. There is absolutely no question of that. I find this an equitable arrangement. Nope. I welcome every chance for the See, he just doesn't value tech very highly, but I suppose why would he? He's a Cylon, they can do it themselves easily enough. Yeah, anyway, in this game, tech advantage is a big deal, but it's not like Orion 2, or, or Orion 1 for that matter. It's a much more nuanced system, and I think it's better for it. Our scientists have made a new discovery. Phasers. Whoa. All right, scrap that. All right, the battleship. Also, the Cuba Libre, Libre was using. Hmm, we might have an interesting situation here. A phaser is technically a cannon, I think. Oh, but they can only be, hmm. Interesting. I think I'm okay with it using Graviton weaponry then. And we'll just put a bunch of these on. Or just one more, you know, whatever works. 
There's not a huge drop off between the Mark I and it though, so that's fine with me. Yeah, the battleship. So it should be durable. That's the bottom line of all of that. Okay, it's interesting that we can only have... Oh, never mind. We need tech research to be able to get the fun modifications for it. That's what's going on there. Same thing that happened with mass drivers. Yeah, we'll get there. In the meantime... We'll give it some carrying options. The goal is for this to be sort of like an all-in-one, you know, well, battle station, like a, a one-ship fleet. And I think my best deeps is still our friend the Graviton Cannon. These collectively sort of negate some of the weaknesses they each have. Oh, it's beautiful. And the battleship, that's no good. This was going to be the Mr. Darcy, was it not? There we go. It's expensive, but <laughs> that is not counting the things it's carrying. So the bombers will do some nice work as well. Our scientists are eager to start. What should we focus on? I think we probably need the advanced colony ship. Hmm, more damage would be cool. Killing people on the ground would be nice too. Hmm. Excellent. That gives me an invasion Fantastic. edge. That's very relevant. Yeah, sure. Why not? I'm not sure why they're starving, but uh, I guess maybe we did need that fungal farm, I don't know. We'll try sneaking that in there, it seems like that's a really critical thing. Oh yeah, you just guard it. Echidna Prime is valuable. And we're just going to have to start with the cheap ones because we don't have the people there. They'll, they'll come. All right, I wonder if that's going to be enough. Now, we're kind of on the cusp of getting an advanced military outpost if I choose to research it, which I very well may not. Oh, how serendipitous. Okay, that was actually doing something to help them. So, huzzah, I say. Do we try sneaking out one more? Or do we introduce them to Mr. Darcy? That's 
probably more firepower than we need. Yeah, and I know what you're all thinking. Oh yeah, we need bomb support. As usual, we need bomb support. You're thinking, hey Dave, you shouldn't be having a war on two fronts. It's always a bad idea when you do that. That's a fair point. I'm going to try and get away with it anyway, because that's how I roll. Yeah, it looks like this is still like kind of a production center, so... We'll do that. They're about to have a population explosion. It's a decent candidate for a research, but... Look at this lovely swamp planet. So close to being really nice. They should put that on the sign outside. Welcome to Rubarium 4. Almost great. Near greatness awaits. Yeah, we'll start with that, I think. Just gently chipping away. Yep. Getting close. Yeah, now we're talking. What should I do here? All right, everybody. This is what you came for. Favorable odds. A little bit of film grain effect there. I like the touch. I think we're going to need them to intensify forward firepower. You can see the beams firing away there. Those are continuous beams anyway. Alright, pick off the little ones. Or, you know, targets of opportunity instead. Getting close. That one's taking a little bit of a pounding. I'm getting a little worried about him. Okay, we'll take out the small ones with incidental fire. It's time to break this thing's back. Come on, torpedo barrage. It's so close. You can see it's turning molten. If we had Dauntless Guidance System, those would wrap around. Felt pretty good. Special thanks to the comment section for the tip on retreating that uh, ship, by the way. I mean, look at that. They did a good chunk of damage to me, but no losses. Got some durable ships. That's the value of neutronium. Seven Marines. I want to see if we can take them. Nope. 
I guess numeric superiority still matters. We said that last time, but I do have, I thought, way better tech. Maybe not. Someone ought to teach them a lesson for their insolence. We're still not quite at the point of making troop transports here, I don't think. Don't have the production, don't have the, you know, obedient population. Still, I'm glad we learned something. We're just gonna need a whole bunch of transports. Way beyond the scale of what I've been doing. Yeah, that should be good. And thither. Yeah, they got their cleanup going on. I'm happy about that. Happy about that. All right. So over here I was saying like, yeah, at least four transports. I think we'll go with five. No. There's only one system you know about that I don't. All right, spies are having good results. What is this place about? I mean, it's got really good production. We're still in more of a... No. No, I was going to put it into research mode. I should stick with that plan. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with that. That's just a flat, flat puss plus three. Fat puss. All right. And I'm okay with the population's growing at a fast rate, because why not? And the neighbors at Kyushu, too. Even better candidates for researching like crazy. Maybe I should zip back to Kyushu Prime and have them just keep churning out a whole bunch more transports. It seems prudent given uh, all the circumstances. Can I have a times five? Nope. There we go, we got it down to two, and at only minor pollution problems. You can see the effect of the jump gate there, that was way more range than it normally got. Okay, that should be enough for Fieras Prime there. I know they're good fighters, but I mean, it's probably not gonna be a problem, right? Yeah, we're ruining the planet, I get it. Oh no, stop, it's mostly civilians.
so close. Yeah, they'll have everything they need very soon. Looks like uh, they're freaking out a little bit, but Cylons, eh, they don't have to worry about anything. Earth's doing well. Been a while since we checked in on them. At some point it would be nice to get a radiation shield. I seem to recall they're a little pricey. More expensive than a star base. That ain't nothing. Still, if it's needed. We'll queue up some production. Well, at least one production bonus first. Gets us an easy two, probably contributes in the long run. Yeah, they're probably fine there. I was thinking it might be nice to, uh... Oh, this was probably just a waypoint for... Somebody headed... There. Ah, uh, yes, the frigate. Uh, they, I guess they can just keep defending out there. It's still a nice planet. It'd be nice if we could get them a solution to the gravity problems. That might be a ways away, though. No, they're, they need they need a kickstart or else they won't be any help for the entire game. There. And hopefully I remember roughly when the transport arrives. I think I'll probably take a look. Good. All right, our little bombardment ship. Go do your thing. Good. I just bought those, so we're keeping keeping tabs. Feeling pretty good about this start we've got. Also, many of the buildings that we can make in this game are like system unique or empire unique, so you only get to really build one. So food for thought. I think Altair is our best chance for having fully developed anything up there. All right. These guys versus our friends, the Mercians. Can they do it? Oh yeah, we need bombardment support. Right, that. We'll wait a couple more turns. But I had no marines left, I think? Seems like I might not have the strongest grip uh, on the colony, but anyway. All right, fine, don't starve. Never thought that's what the title was about. Mm. 
There we go. Sorry about blowing up all the structures. Well, I'm a little sorry. Okay, this will give us seven production. That is a... Enough to get us nine turns to get there. Yeah, it's, it's justifiable, but we'll do that purchase instead. All right, we're making headway. I'm in a bit less of a rush to, uh, you know, destroy things. I guess they built it at a different planet. We might have a hard time running that guy down, even though he's just a scout. Hmm. Has a weapon strength of zero, so... It can't stir up trouble, can it? All right, just in the nick of time, we're gonna get those guys there. All right, you know what? We'll, we'll end this episode here in the next one. We got a lot of interesting stuff to deal with. See you there, everybody.